All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's early morning, I'm here at Omar's house. Uh, you guys might know him as a 68 Charger. So we're gonna go to uh, Carson Coffee and Dripping Springs at Dreamland Coffee. I actually haven't been since like COVID because they ended up changing the uh, location and I actually have this weekend off. So let's go check out Omar's car and head to Dreamland. A little cold start, huh? What up, man? Yeah, a little, uh, let's see, 37 degree cold start. 37 degrees right now. the street over here at dreamland find some parking i've never actually been here but it's pretty cool i don't know some kind of venue or theme park i don't know what's going on we're about to find out how's it going man hey how you doing man pretty good thanks for coming out coffee car just uh, follow him go around the blazer park road back with wherever you like all right cool thank you all right guys so we're officially parked i was going to record us on the hills uh coming out here because it's actually a really nice drive and like right when we got to the hills, this like Hayes County Sheriff uh, and one of those uh, Ford Explorers was just on my tail the entire time. And it's, there's just nothing but backcountry roads and there's a lot of hills. So I know like during the weekends, people like to do some spirited driving out there, uh, but we definitely weren't. We came the whole way going like 50 miles an hour. So I didn't get to record anything. So hopefully after this event, um, I know one thing's for sure, any gas, this car drinks like it's going out of style. Uh, I'll try to get some GoPro footage outside the car uh, and maybe I got a little headband with a GoPro uh, so I can show you guys what it looks like because they're, they're actually super neat roads and not far from here is the famous uh, Twisted Sisters roads so maybe one day we'll hit those up as well. Anyways, I know you don't want to hear me rambling. I see a really cool Camaro. I see a really cool Mustang. See, I said Camaro kind of funny because, you know, we're, we're Mopar people here. Uh, when I say Mustang, I mean like it's like a 65 so let's go check it out. All right, so this is my first time at Dreamland, like I said, like three times already. Omar's been here a few times, and he's uh, he said that it's been for the cars and coffee. I mean, he said that's a little bit of a smaller turnout. Uh, but I know you've got some plans for us, right? We've got some spots picked out, some roads, um, so we can maybe cruise and take some photos and some videos and just kind of enjoy the rest of the day. I'm hoping it warms up a little more. What do you think? Do you want to warm up? This guy's up to 60 today. It is 40 right now. It was 37 when we got here, right? So, okay, so. Degrees. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take it too. I'll take every little degree you can give me. I'll take it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, so let's we're gonna go ahead and wrap up. Oh, dude, my fingers are numb. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up out here. Uh, I'm gonna finish my breakfast shake here, and then we'll hit the road. Oh man, so we're doing our 7-Eleven fuel stop here. Of course, we got our gas guzzlers. Um, wow. So I was filling up, and I told Omar, I was like, man, I'm amazed. There's not none of those little stickers. And then there it is. Yep, I love it. Don't cancel me, I just think it's funny. <laughs> We didn't find the GoPro. We tried, but 
we don't want to spend all day driving up and down this road and not finding it so anyways we're at our next uh little stop here got the challenger poster for some photos omar's charger and uh we're gonna wrap up the video here we want to talk about some talking points about uh, the future of the 68 and the future of the 09 as well um my plans always get a little was it deterred they always change because other stuff starts to break here recently my rear end on the challenger has been making some weird noises i wanted to tell you that earlier when we left uh that one film spot when we were filming and i goosed it a little bit the rear end made another noise um so yeah i gotta really be careful with that one but let's talk about the 68 yeah, so pretty much right now it's got a 402 stroker, uh, Magnum stroker with a 727 race transmission with a reverse pattern transmission. That is going to be going away at the end of this month. And I do have a Gen 3 Hemi coming, a 5.7. I didn't want to go with the 392. I think the 5.7 is going to be enough. And that's going to be put in at the end of uh, hopefully this month or starting early next month, as well as a TKO 5 speed transmission. So, yeah. Once we get it in, I'm going to start pulling out this uh, drivetrain and then we can get started on that heavy swap. So stay tuned for that, guys. Yeah, so basically when he says we, he literally means we. <laughs> uh, so I've got a lot of experience of putting new stuff in older stuff. Not a lot, but I have some experience. Uh, at least I kind of know what I'm doing. So we're going to be uh, tag teaming that project together. And you also said you could be doing like the Dakota Digital gauges and kind of all the works right through and through yeah so gonna be looking at the wiring just to make sure that i don't have to replace that but it does have a when i say fairly new i put in a new painless wiring kit about 10 years ago or so oh wow so if that's still uh working then i'm gonna go ahead and leave it if not i may have to replace that but uh, along with that uh, dakota digital i've had that for about six months uh knowing that i was gonna put a gen 3 hemi in it and so now that once we get everything shipped in i can start uh putting all that stuff in which is gonna be fun and it's gonna be a fun uh, YouTube road uh, for uh, myself and Toronto Racing. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited to be a part of it too. We've uh, we've been trying to work on some other stuff. We still got something that you know we tried doing together about two years ago. That's gonna come out. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get this thing Gen 3 swapped. It's actually, I mean, when you hit the gas in front of me, I gas it right behind you, and it's not slow poke by any means. It's pretty fast. So yeah, be proud of that. Now the Challenger. I know I've been doing a lot of racing here, but that's because I've got bigger plans for it. So I'm kind of just taking my time. Uh, as you guys can see, I have taken the uh, all the decals off the car. I'm kind of really enjoying the clean look. Uh, going to these uh, local car spots with uh, Omar here. Um, I've cleaned up some of the body panels recently. I had to get this one repainted. It was kind of beat up. Uh, still needs to be cut and buffed. And like I said earlier, my rear end is making some noise. I really like the Detroit... Uh, true track that i got in the ram i'm gonna see if there's something similar that i can get for the challenger and get an updated uh, limited slip i know that the axle on the passenger side the boot is torn and there's no grease in it that might be what's making the clicking noise and suspension i do want to do a lot to the rear because uh, the rear for the most part is stock suspension wise and the only thing on the front i want to change is the a and d upper control arms and here recently i've gone down the rabbit hole of wanting to boost this thing uh, but i want to do i got to change the cam to a boost cam not my na cam and i want to go ahead and do uh, some of the head work so pretty much a really big bill when it comes to the challenger so i'm kind of just enjoying it as is uh, there was an autocross day today it ended up being a nice day but i decided to skip uh, maybe the next one i'll go out but that's kind of the future plans for this is boost boost cam head work uh, changing the headers out. Let me see if I can see this here. These are just so you can see how low those headers are. Uh, they hit absolutely everything, and it's why I had to lift the car uh, from its original uh, lowered stance. So, along with the boost, um, I want to put some shorties on there and some different pipes because this thing even gets stuck on trailers and it's just a little bit of a hassle at this point. But that's kind of what's going on with the Challenger. Next up on the uh, chopping block is going to be the exhaust on the CJ7. Um, I've got a lot of the gremlins already worked out, so that I think should be on the road within the next month or so. And I think in two weeks, Omar and I, we're going to NASCAR, Circuit of the Americas. I've been to uh, traditional NASCAR races. Um, so yeah, we got some content coming out. It's just parts, back ordered parts, and time really. Hey right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's little adventure. Omar and I going to uh, local cars and coffee, cruising around. 
losing my GoPro. It's a casualty award at this point, but it's okay. Uh, moving forward, like we said, we've got the Gen 3 Hemi swap for the 68 Charger. There's going to be a lot of content on that. Um, and for the Challenger, once I start boosting it, we'll, uh, we'll start collecting parts and working on that as well. So if you guys like these videos, you know what to do. Hit that like button, leave a comment below, and smash that subscribe button. Until next time, guys. Peace out.